What's up gamers? Hey once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Gamer Rebirth DL channel. So what do we have today? Today we have a tool that does it all for the PlayStation Vita. Now this is for the SD2 Vita card adapter. You can set it up as UXO, UMAO, you can uninstall the plugins. This is an amazing application that we will test and I'll go ahead and leave the links in the description. So the TF card plugin tool. Now this is from the Hero GAC. This is for people that have PS Vita memory card in their system so that you can be able to use both of them. So we'll go ahead and get that application. Now you can follow the Hero GAC in this Twitter page. Make sure you get the latest release. This was just released just recently. So we will download the English VPK. Now this has fixed the UMAO remounting after suspension. So we get that VPK. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description, which is pretty cool. I tested this application and it's working flawlessly. No problems, no errors. Now, if you're really looking for an SD2 Vita, I would highly recommend to go to Strident SD2 Vita. He has top of the line micro SD cards adapters. Now I have gotten some from him too. So if you need an SD2 Vita, you can go to the Strident.com link and it'll take you directly to purchase it. So it'll give you some pictures in here, some examples of how they look. Now this was mentioned in Walolo.net as well. So got great reviews. So you would just click in there and then view cart. Now the cool thing about it is summarizes everything and also you can pay with PayPal if you don't feel secure to pay but PayPal is the way to go. So there it is. That's where I get my SD2 Vitas. Ordered some so go get yours if you need one. Now we connect our PlayStation Vita to the PC and we're going to transfer that VPK or application to the console. So we copy and paste. Okay that's cool. So that's all we need to do in here with the PC. Really guys, this application will make everything so seamless and easy. So we go to our Vita shell and we install the VPK. And if you agree to the prompts, then you click OK. OK, so now if you saw my previous video, that was for people that don't have a PlayStation Vita memory card. This is for people that have PlayStation Vita memory card and an SD2 Vita. Now I want to show you guys the system information is 3.68 and right now have capacity around 8 gigabytes in my PlayStation Vita memory card. So finally we're going to launch the tool. Great job Team One Lua. You guys are doing great things. Every developer in the PlayStation Vita scene is doing great things. Now you guys will see SD2 Vita equals UMAO and memory card equals UXO. Now SD2 Vita equals UXO and memory card equals UMAO. Now for the PlayStation TV, it would only be USB to the UXO. Also, we can clear all the plugins. We can refresh the live area and we can also use file manager, kind of like the Vita shell, which is pretty cool. You can manage your files through here as well. But for now, I am going to install the SD2 Vita equals UXO memory card as UMAO. So we press circle and then it'll give us the prompt that if we want to proceed and we say yes with circle and simple as that guys, super quick, super simple. Then we reboot. Of course, we got to install Hancore. Once we reboot because we're on 3.68. Now I'm going to Verify if my Vita shell works. Everything works fine. Now it's not corrupted. Now I'm going to check. You guys can see the UXO 59 gigabytes 60. My UMAO became my PlayStation Vita memory card, which is pretty cool. I can install additional information in the UMAO. So now we're going to test if the games are working. Look at that guys. No corruption, no errors. Everything's working. Now we're going to try another application, Package J. You guys can see that it's working. This is flawless, amazing guys. Go get that application. Now 
we're going to do some more tests so now we're going to do the SD2 Vita UMAO and the memory card as UXO so technically if you have the memory card installed already from the PlayStation Vita the SD2 Vita will become the UMAO so the external storage basically we reboot we install Handcore we go to Vita Shell look at that 60 gigabytes now as UMAO I can install all my PS1 games PSP games in there and my UXO it's my original PS Vita memory card this is a great application guys okay so now I don't want anything I just want to revert back to how it was let's go in and install those plugins so we run it we reboot the PlayStation Vita and we install Handcore. Now we go to Vita Shell. Look at that, guys. It's clean. Everything's working fine. There's no errors. There were times that I was worried back then using these type of applications because I had a bad experience. But this one is working flawlessly. I would highly recommend it. So now I want to have my SD2 Vita as UXO and memory card as UMAO. Now I have more space for games. You guys can see under system, system information. Look at that guys, 59 gigabytes of capacity. This is amazing, you can go more in capacity. Remember to get your SD2 Vita card adapter if you need to. If this helped, remember to hit like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. As always, Gamer Rebirth, out.